those of you where this debate is new. CVE stands for Countering Violent Extremism. And I have with me here a very distinguished panel who represent a lot of different perspectives on this topic. Uh, we have the private sector represented um, on the, the far left by Carl Schonander, who is the Senior Director of International Public Policy at the Software and Information Industry Association. He's not in your packets because we tried um, very hard to get a, somebody from one of the social media or internet platforms, including Google, Yahoo, Facebook, and Microsoft, um, but nobody was able to come. We are delighted to have Carl here to represent um, a business perspective. Um, to my left here is Yolanda Rondon, who is coming from a civil society perspective. She is the staff attorney for the Arab, sorry, for the American Arab Anti-Discrimination Committee, ADC where she works on legal cases and policy issues related to surveillance, racial and religious profiling, hate crimes and employment, discrimination and immigration. To my right, right is J.D. Maddox, who is the Director of Analytics at the Interagency Global Engagement Center, which is housed at the U.S. Department of State. He is also an adjunct professor at George Mason University, and he'll take a few minutes to tell us more about the Global Engagement Center, um, but as many of you probably know, the State Department has been at the forefront of countering violent extremism measures online, some of the counter-narrative programs, some of the campaigns that you may have heard about, um, and so we'll be looking forward to hearing from that perspective. And then on the far right, we have Matt Mitchell, who is a security researcher, operational security trainer, and data journalist with Crypto Harlem. His work focuses on marginalized, aggressively monitored, over-policed populations in the United States. And so this panel is designed to talk about what the implications of the countering violent extremism online agenda and efforts um, are having on human rights. And on populations, we probably know most about what's happening in the fight against ISIS, but one thing we wanted to emphasize with this panel is that um, we can't just focus on ISIS because this has broader repercussions um, on populations of all different kinds, both in the U.S. and abroad, because of course the internet is global.